The mission of uh, PM Soldiers Sensors and Lasers is really to equip soldiers with individual sensors and lasers to allow them to dominate the battlefield uh, with increased mobility, uh, lethality, and survivability, uh, both day and night, and you know, in obscurance or just any atmospheric condition. You know, it used to be no moon, no light. You can't see. Now, no moon, no light. You can still, you know, a personal device you can see enemy coming enemy going see people doing you know creeping around in the night that you normally wouldn't be able to see before it's hard to hide thermal i mean every living thing or every inanimate object if it's moving gives off heat you can't hide that behind obscurance foliage inside buildings so it's harder for the enemy to hide now from you the next step is to digitally fuse the two. By being digital, it's going to allow the soldier, that individual soldier, to enter the network or enter the digital battlefield. With, with the digital input, he'll be able to send a digital output to provide near real-time imagery of what he's seeing on individual objectives or as he works where he's assigned to work. What the thermal system gives you that added capability of detecting a heat object and it slows things down. Once that heat object is detected, it slows things down and it gives the leader and the soldier an opportunity to uh, engage. The thermal weapon sites are great in the wintertime for conducting operations because one or two kilometers away, the 13 Bravos, you could see people that had small warming fires. You could track guys through the snow. You could track guys through the hills. There's no way you would have been able to pick that up either with MVGs um, or with the naked eye. There's nothing that replaces thermals at night. Uh, they just can't be beat. Pet 15 is probably one of the best pieces of equipment we got before we deployed. I know guys use all the time. With the Pac-15, it's really easy to change from floodlight to laser uh, to visible laser, and that just made a great difference out there because if you wanted to laser a car just to see what was in it and then tell them to stop, you had that on your weapon, and all you had to do was turn a dial. The PBS-14, uh, it's, it's a great piece of equipment, and you can switch it from left to right. Um, you have one eye constantly available for your rifle and the other eye to own the night. So I think the biggest way that we're impacting the day-to-day -day soldier and his ability to be more survivable and lethal on the battlefield is just the sheer number of systems and the number of systems that are going to individual soldiers, where before it would be at a leadership level or even on a vehicle, the night vision, whether it's the I squared or the IR, has become affordable and proliferated to such an extent that that's how I think we're really, we're meeting the current needs of the soldier in the field today. At PEO Soldier, at PMSEQ, and at, at Product Management Office Soldiers, Sensors, and Lasers, we work very hard and we take very seriously that we're going to provide the best possible equipment as timely as we can, you know, so that the sons and daughters of America are, are equipped to fight and win. That is how we operate. We like to operate at night where the enemy can't see us. You know, we own the night.